When setting up your targeting for Facebook ads, use super niche targeting. I'll show you how to do this as well as how to ethically steal your competitor's audience later in this video. The next secret is to use audience insights, and this is a free, powerful tool, and most people aren't using it correctly. Split testing is a technique that the professionals are using that most beginners miss. I'll show you how to do this properly. The perfect Facebook ad has three elements that work together. I'll show you how to use all three of these elements as well as the biggest mistake that beginners make when creating their Facebook ad. Number five, we have lead ads. And lead ads are my favorite type of ad. Basically, it makes it so people can give you their email right on Facebook. This makes it better for Facebook because it keeps them on their platform. It makes it better for the user because it's easier for them to give you their email. And ultimately it's better for you because the user is more likely to give you their email, phone number, or whatever contact information you want. Creating engagement is the secret to making your ad go viral. And I'll show you exactly how to do this. The last secret is to set up remarketing. Once someone's already been to your website once, Make them come back again until they purchase from you. These are the best type of people to show your ads to because you already know that they're interested in your product. I quit my corporate job six years ago and I struggled trying to figure out all these secrets and now I'm gonna give them to you for free. So pay attention. I wish I would have known these when I first started. It would have saved me a lot of time. And by the end of this video, you're going to be an expert at Facebook ads. The first secret is super niche targeting. Most people make the mistake of trying to make their audiences too big. They target everybody that likes dogs. That's way too big of an audience. You need to niche down further. How about moms that like dogs that are 35 to 45 that live in Los Angeles and also like Lululemon? That's a better niche. Facebook wants to steal as much money from you as they can. And if you pick a big audience, they're gonna take a lot of money from you. That's why you need to be as specific as possible. This will also allow you to test different groups of people and see who responds to your ad. But don't just guess on what audience you should target. You can use audience insights to figure out exactly what audience works for you. So one of the ways you can do this is you can upload any email list you have and audience insights will tell you exactly what kind of things those people are interested in. You can also look at people that like your Facebook page or even your competitor's Facebook page and audience insights will tell you just a ton of information about what kind of audience follows you or your competitors. Take this data, learn from it, and start running profitable ads. We're gonna talk about how to make the perfect ad in just a second, but before we do that, secret number three is split testing. And you need to know that you can and should be split testing. Basically what split testing is, is you test one ad copy versus another, and you see which one does better. Because even if you make the perfect ad, there's always a chance that it could be a little bit better. One of the biggest mistakes people make when they're creating their first ad is they make it look like an ad. When people are scrolling on Facebook, if they see an ad, they're going to ignore it. The key here is to not make it look like an ad. It's to make it look as much like native content as possible. And there's three elements that make up a great ad, in my opinion. The first element of a great ad is a great image. A great image captures the user's attention. Remember, they're scrolling through their Facebook feed. It needs to capture their attention. Another trick to making it look like native content is use your phone instead of a really high-end professional camera. If it looks too glossy, people might realize that it's an ad, but if it looks like something that their friends might have posted, then they might be more likely to stop and look and see, hey, what is this? The next element is a great headline. Again, you wanna capture the audience's attention. You wanna create some intrigue, like create some kind of a question in their head. And with the headline, you want it to kind of blend in, but at the same time, stand out. If you can create some kind of a question, something that makes people wanna click on that post, that is very powerful. Which brings us to the third element of a great ad, and that is a great landing page. You don't wanna just send them straight to your product. That, that's not what they, you know, if they're scrolling on Facebook, they don't wanna go from scrolling on Facebook to buying a product. One thing you can do is ask for their email in exchange for something. Play the long game. A big mistake the beginners make is they wanna make the sale right away. And most people that are sitting there on Facebook don't wanna go to your website and pull out their credit card. They're not in that mindset. So play the long game, get their email. Secret number five is lead ads. And this is my favorite secret. The way lead ads works is basically the user is scrolling on their screen, scrolling on the Facebook homepage, and they come across your ad. And right from the ad, they can click 
next. And if you have an intriguing offer for them, maybe you're giving an ebook or something like that, they can give you their email right from there. I have a whole video I did on lead ads up here. I'll put the link down below if you wanna learn more about this. But this is a very powerful tool because it keeps the user on the Facebook platform, which is what Facebook wants. They don't want them going to your website. It's also what the user wants. When you're on Facebook, you don't wanna to go to some strange website. And ultimately, this works out really well for you. You wanna make your ad go viral. I know we all want this to happen, but it's not easy. The only way to do it is to create engagement and make it something that people wanna share. Remember, the Facebook algorithm wants to show posts to people that are interesting, things that people wanna engage with. And how does Facebook know if it's interesting to a user? Well, if the post is getting a lot of likes, a lot of comments, and being shared a lot, Facebook knows that that's a good post and it's gonna show it to more people. Again, the only way a post can go viral is if people share it. So when you're creating your ad, ask yourself, are people going to comment on this? Are people going to like this? Are people going to share this? And for 99% of the ads out there, the answer is no. So you have to think about what's your hook. Why would someone wanna share your post? There's only really one reason why someone would share it. And that's because it hits them on some kind of an emotional level. Maybe it makes them really happy. It's really a cute video. Maybe it makes them really angry and they wanna share it and say, hey, I'm really upset about this. And I don't know if this is necessarily something you wanna do if it's your business, but ultimately likes, comments, and shares is the only way to make your ad go viral. And the last secret, and something that people miss all the time is set up remarketing. You can set up remarketing with Facebook ads and with AdWords. And the way that remarketing works is once someone goes to your website, you can target those specific people and get them coming back again and again to your website. When they've already visited once, you already know that they're interested in your product, they know about your product, and you've heard the old saying that it takes seven times of someone seeing your company, your business, before they trust you and they'll buy with you. That's where remarketing comes in. It's easy to set up, and I've done videos for both Facebook ads and AdWords, and I'll link down below and up here on how to set up remarketing. I have for you a complete walkthrough tutorial on how to set up your first Facebook ad. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.